in our recent uh, uh, European Epilepsy Congress uh, meeting in Geneva, I talked about the results of uh, a recent branch of our research, which is called PharmacoEG. So this PharmacoEG, in brief, is just the evaluation of the effect of anti-epileptic treatment in the brain of patients with the epilepsy by evaluating the modification induced by drug in the EG, so in the electroencephalogram, using quantitative technique. So we already uh, showed in previous work, in previous publication, that uh, in effect we can evaluate the modification induced by drug in patients with uh, epilepsy, with focal epilepsy. And we first evaluated the modification induced by um, new generation drugs in patients with drug refractory epilep uh, epilepsy. So patients that already were under treatment with uh, a various combination of drugs. Then we extended this uh, application in patients with a newly diagnosed so drug naive patients. And all of the, our patients were adults. And in a specific form of focal epilepsy, which is temporal lobe epilepsy, which is the most common form of um, uh, focal epilepsy in the adult population. And specifically, we evaluated the modification induced by one of the most prescribed antiepileptic treatment, which is uh, uh, levetiracetam. And uh, in, our, in our first work, we uh, show that, in effect, levetiracetam induced modification in the G of patients after the first diagnosis of uh, epilepsy. So the patients were diagnosed with the temporal lobe epilepsy, then they uh, were prescribed with anti seizure treatment with levetiracetam, and the uh, drug induced a modification in the G. And interestingly, we uh, show that, in effect, the modification induced by this drug were different in patient who did respond to the drug, so they were seizure-free after the initiation of the drug, and patient that uh, did not respond to the drug. So they needed other treatment, other medication to uh, achieve uh, this uh, goal. Um, and these modifications were predictive of the clinical outcome of this, of this patient. So the next step was to further evaluate if a machine learning model, so a model that evaluated by itself the modification of the EEG in patients that were treated with limited acid, uh, if this model could differentiate people that will become seizure-free from people that will not become seizure-free after the initiation, the initiation of levetiracetam. And that was the main goal of this study. That was well, the main topic of my presentation. I, I also talked about other stuff uh, related to machine learning, but that was the most exciting uh, finding because we showed that, in effect, the machine learning technique could use EEG data in order to unravel the possibility to become seizure-free in patients uh, that were firstly diagnosed with focal epilepsy, in this case, temporal lobe epilepsy.